So we're given four equations and our task is to find out if we modify a, the a variable, what do we have to do to x in order to still keep the same solution? So we really don't have to, we're, we're not trying to solve anything, we just need to know using the rules of math, are we going to be increasing x value, decreasing its value, or does it have to say the same in order for us to get the same output, the same answer? So for the first one, I have x minus a equaling 0. So what do I have to do to x if I increase the value of a? So whenever I'm not sure, a really good thing I can do, a really easy thing I can do, is go ahead and plug in some numbers and see, well, if a was this number, what would I have to do to x in order to still have it equal the same? So if a went from 1, that would have to mean that x was also 1, so 1 minus 1 to be 0. Well, what if a became 2? Well, then I would need x to become 2 to have 2 minus 2 equals 0. So if a increases, guess what? x has to increase to order, in order to have 0 for our answer still. So for this, our answer is it has to increase. Now this says a times x equals 1. Well, when multiplying, the only way we can get a 1 is if we're basically multiplying numbers that are opposites. So say a was 2, okay, just to plug it in. Well, what would x have to be in order to turn 2, times it by something, and get a 1? Well, I have to have half of 2 in order to turn it into 1. So 2 times 1 half is 1. Now if I notice that, it means they are reciprocals of each other. 2 is the whole number and 1 half is the reciprocal. I take that 2 and I flip it upside down so that if I multiply those two numbers together, it's 2 over 1, or 2 times 1, which is 2, and 1 times 2, which is 2. 2 over 2 simplifies to 1. So say if I increased a, well if I have, let's make it 4, well how do I turn 4 into 1? I have 4 of something. How many times do I need to have it in order to have just 1? I need it a quarter of a time. Again, take the whole number, flip it upside down to make its reciprocal. A whole number times its reciprocal is 1. Well, which is greater? 1 half or 1 quarter? Well, a half is greater than a quarter. So as a increases, x ha actually has to decrease, it has to have a smaller and smaller value to offset that increasing a value and get 1 as a result. So for number 2, our answer is decreasing. x has to decrease in order to still get that same solution. Now here we have a times x equals a. Well, if I have a in the problem, what do I have to do to just have a in my answer? Well, um, it has to do with the x. How, what, when multiplying, what does x have to be in order to have any number times something equal 1 itself? A 1. So x has to stay the same. x has to stay as a 1. Now this final question says x divided by a equals 1. Well, we know when simplifying, any number over itself simplifies to 1. Any number divided by itself is one time. So if a's value increases, guess what? x still has to be that same number in order to have x divided by a equal 1. So in this case, if a increases, x increases as well so that they stay the same number and that when they divide by each other, you're left with 1 as an answer.